hello is finding content on um, the reason why you are not active on social media as a small business owner if that is you I'm here to help in this video I am going to be sharing with you four to five tips with which you can use to find content really really easily and straightforward and that will get you your, your to be able to populate your social media platform and that will get you the type of audience that you desire that will interact with you and gradually you can build that crucial relationship and moving them towards um, paying customers the point is that most small business owners um, do not actually become active on social media simply because they dread of finding post day in day out it just kind of sucks the life the life out of them and um you know business owners are busy and then of course they they, they prioritize other things um, other than social media but the thing is that i believe that social media using the power of social media doesn't only get you visible but it actually gets you the customers that you desire for your business so before we get started um subscribe to my youtube channel like and comment on this um, on this video and share it turn the notification bell on and so that when i release a video you would be able to uh, you'll be notified and also um you know, get some value from that now my name is Beatrice Yakubo, founder of Social Marketing Art, and in today's video, we'll be discussing uh, about content creation. So the first thing that you would look for content is, uh, or the first place you look for content is within Basumo. Basumo, when you click, when you write in google.com on Basumo, what it does is that it will bring you loads and loads of um articles so for instance me as a marketer if you put bazumo on on on, um, on youtube and uh, actually drill down to marketing articles of course it's going to tabulate the articles that have been shared especially on twitter and other platforms on social media that have had most likes most shares and what have you so that that just gives you an idea about the type of content that is a trending, the type of content that people like to engage with. And of course, your aim is to also get your people, your audience engaging with your content. And that's an idea that will trick, um, give you the idea of what type of content uh, to, to, to send out. Or simply you can read one of the blogs and just um, a kind of write a bullet point from, from the blog and then make it your own and that can become a post for you the next thing is uh, the number two would be post planner post planner is a software as well it's a website that you would uh, go to to be able to find the type of post that has been doing well especially for facebook so this within post planner you are able to also find um, uh, images so images funny images and things like that uh, or quotations that have been performing well over the past weeks, over the past months, you will be able to find that. And of course, you can um, create one on Canva. You don't necessarily have to copy from somebody, but you can create one from Canva and then put your own spin on it and bam, that's uh, another idea for you to send a post out for your audience. The number three, uh, post idea number three would be video. Now video like I'm uh, having this conversation with you is so powerful. The point is that the issue of um, seeing people talk, knowing who is behind the scene is, is, is becoming so, so relevant for people. And uh, the other thing is that most people would rather watch video than even read. So by, um, by coming up with an idea and talking on video, you are um, you are actually connected in a very powerful way with your audience. And in fact, Facebook has prioritized the video so much so that uh, when you post a video, you can get 10 times the reach, 10 times the engagement than any other thing else that you will be posting on, on social media. 
especially on Facebook. Number four I would be posting uh, your own content, reposting. The thing is that when you post something on, on, on social media, chances are just a little fraction of your followers would see it. And the reasons are varied. One major reason is that the algorithm of um, social media, um, especially for Facebook, is so so that you, you've got to, um, it, it's limited. It's limiting the, the number of um, reach that your, your post will get to people. And of course, except you boost it. Even with that, there's still, um, there's still that limitation. So how you can get around that is to post frequently with that same message. The other reason is that when you post, send out your post, it is not everyone who is on, on Facebook or on, on either Twitter or on Instagram at that point in time. So if you post once and then leave it there after you've spent all the time in creating it, of course, that is a waste because just a fraction of your audience would see it. And in order to get around that, you will need to post it a few times, like a couple of times during the week and also uh, within the month, just go over your, um, your old post and reposting. And the person who does this so well is Kim Jimenez. I love Kim Jimenez for that because she brings out so much um, valuable content that she actually crafts it in a way that over and over again, um, uh, she sends the same post out. And of course, um, she's engaging with her audience in a very meaningful way. Last but not the least is uh, posting other people's content. Now, some people uh, have a problem with this or some people say, oh, when you post other people's content, you probably are promoting them. Uh, I beg to differ on that one because when you, uh, within social media, we are uh, talking about collaboration, we are talking about networking, we are talking about supporting each other, so to speak. So if you post somebody, if you share somebody's post, it doesn't mean that you cannot create your own post. But if at that time you see that that post will serve your audience, because remember, at the end of the day, your postings or whatever it is that you send out is to serve audience. If you know that this person's post is going to serve your audience as well, not only reposting it, if you share it and also put your spin on it, of course, it's going to serve your audience in, um, in a valuable way. Thank you for listening to this video. I could go on and on, but of course, uh, for time constraints, if you like this video, give it a video, give it a thumbs up, comment on it, like it, share it. And as I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be posting more and more videos which will be of value to you and also for your community. I will catch up with you soon. Take care. God bless.